Ed, welcome back to the channel. On this video, I'm going to ride the Aerial Rider Grizzly. As you see it right there, it's version 2. And it's the original bike. I haven't done anything to it except for I put a phone mount and a mirror. And everything else is still original. And this bike has just hit the two years old on April Fool's Day. So uh, it's two years old now and still going strong and I haven't ridden it in a while that's why I thought I would take it out and I'm gonna try see what happens here in uh, since the Oregon laws now say you can ride at 23 miles per hour or 28 miles per hour, I should say. But I want to get this. So. Alright, so I'm going to try this. Grizzly here and I'm going to try to, I know I'm not going to be pedaling, I'm just going to throttle on this ride. We're going to call this a little bit quicker ride, speed wise. And for anybody that doesn't like to go a little bit faster, I'm going to abide by the rules here as far as speed limit. Uh, keeping it within 25 on this road, stretch of road right here. Oh, once in a while, the Grizzly just wants to go. It's a quick bike, and it likes to show off its speed and power. Still just using the rear motor at the moment. This is a dual motor uh, bike if you're not familiar with it. Each motor is a thousand watts and each motor peaks at 1850 uh, watts, 52 volt. It's got a 20 amp hour battery and a 15 amp hour battery for a total of 35. And they do run together. All right. Once we get up here onto this other street, it's going to allow us to go a little faster. We're going to crank it up a little more. This bike is a pretty good powerful bike I'm going to use the uh, dual motor to get up this hill you can hear it kick in it's a kind of a loud motor especially that front motor and uh, you can certainly hear it but you got to make sure when you're riding that you uh, when you come to a stop to not leave your front motor on because it may surprise you and uh, if you're not ready for it, it could uh, be a problem. So let's crank it up a little bit here with dual motor a little bit. A little bit of a speed run here. I haven't done one of these in a while, so... Whoa, debris on the road, that's not good. Sometimes it's hard to get going in the bike lane because of the debris in there. You never know what you're going to see, but... This bike 
Mike is really good on hills. As you're going to see right here. as you see right there. you got to watch that the car sees you hopefully I was ready for it with my hand on the brakes so in the future when I get the graffiti X which is supposed to be shipping out in August I, I definitely want to do a speed race with this uh, Grizzly here because uh, the other graffiti uh, could not beat the could not beat the Grizzly here in a race so I'm thinking the graffiti X is going to eat the Grizzly for lunch and uh, we'll capture it all on video here and uh, share it on YouTube so watch for that in the future. <clears throat> the Graffiti X uh, can go uh, 50, uh, 53 miles an hour. That's with a 200 pound rider. A 205 pound rider from uh, Lyric Cycles and uh, he did a video uh, Andrew from Lyric Cycles uh, doing a, a second video most recently here of a speed test he's done a couple of them now um, and uh, the second one there he got it he said he's had it up they've had it up to 53 miles per hour I don't know if it was him on the bike or not or somebody else but um, but he ended up to, I think it touched 50, 49 on the GPS and 50 on the speedometer. The speedometer on these bikes is pretty accurate on the, on the uh, gra uh, graffiti. I get the graffiti and Grizzly uh, mixed up when I'm talking about them. But uh, yeah, I'll leave a link in the description if you want to go and check out the Graffiti X uh, little uh, video that they did of hill climbing test and speed test that that bike is awesome and I will leave a link also for the Grizzly if you want to go and check it out I think I don't know if it still is but it has been on sale for $30.99 for a while and the Graffiti X they're taking uh, reservations um, they're going to be uh, selling again sometime this spring here before long so uh, you can reserve the bike to be uh, in line to get a discounted price the uh, uh, price is going to be $39.99 but if you get in early on the reserve you're going to get it discounted I don't know how much you'll get it discounted but you will get uh, first try first chance to buy one and then secondly, you should get some kind of discount on the bike as well. Uh, this bike has a lot more, a lot more subtle takeoff when you just have the back motor um, on, but when you have both of them together, the front wheel will spin out on you. 
and uh, but it has a lot more uh, takeoff once it gets the traction on the front. I usually wait a few seconds if I'm going to use both, like at an intersection or something like that, and then uh, get some traction going and then do it. I'm going to, I'll demonstrate that right now. So here we are at the stop, and I'm going to have both motors engaged. So here we go. As you can see, you, uh, it has pretty good takeoff there. You just got to get some traction first. But going around corners like this, you don't want to be throttling with both motors uh that can be tricky i had a friend who's on the uh channel quite a bit keith and he uh first time riding this he had an accident with the graffiti or with the grizzly i should say and uh so you want to be careful of that so let's uh kick it back and get it started and here we go with both motors as you can see, it just quickly picks up. Turn that other motor off. Okay, so let's turn right here. So this is just the back motor. I'm going to kick both on one more time here. So we're started, and once we get going, I'm going to kick both on and take it easy going around this curve here. Right. As you can see, it picks up pretty quick. Sure, I turn that off. But this bike is a lot of fun. All e bikes are fun.
Okay, let's make sure we turn off front motor so we don't have any accident there. I gotta say the fun on this bike is when you kick in that second motor, the front motor. Like if you're only gonna drive with one, you're gonna use the uh, rear motor, you should. And then the front motor is, if you want uh, some acceleration or hill climbing, then just kick that in. It's like going into overdrive and you're just gonna fly up that hill or through an intersection. Is I wish there wasn't a little delay when you throttle on the uh, Grizzly there's about a, a second delay or so I want it to be instant Well, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed that little um, speedy ride, I guess you'd call it, on the Aerial Rider Grizzly. I haven't ridden this in a while, so it was a lot of fun to take it out and go for a spin. Show you a little bit of what this bike has to offer with uh, what power it has. So that's going to do it for this video. If you like the video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel and uh, help support us, thank you very much for doing that. Just hit the subscribe button. If you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other videos, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me on this video. And until next time. Keep your wheels on the road.